confluence okay salesforce account my sql account sms account jira account okay so uh, we will see this salesforce and remote my sql one so this two account we will use and this salesforce account we will use for salesforce and then this remote my sql you will we will use for database okay so we'll see how we will uh, create account here and how we will do all the setups so let's start with salesforce for salesforce you need to go to this uh, developer.salesforce.com okay and here you need to do sign up you need to provide your first name last name email role company country postal code username everything you will provide and click on sign up once you will click on this sign up so let me so once you will click on this sign up then your account will be created and then you can log in your account so I have already account, so I'm doing login here. So this, uh, this page will be your first page once you will do login. Okay, so in Salesforce account, we will do multiple activities like whenever we want to create any object. So what do you need to do? You need to go to here. Okay, sorry. So we have object and fields here. Inside this, we have object manager. So here you will able to see all the predefined object. So this is the list of all the predefined object in Salesforce. But if you want to create custom object, means your own object, that also you can do. You can create, click on this option, click on this custom object. Here you need to give name of that custom object, let's say ABC. Then this also let's say ABC. Then by default it will create one record. So let me take name as a name. Data type will be text. And then click on save. So what it will do? It will create one object here, ABC object. This is the way of creating custom object. If you want to create, so inside object you will have multiple fields where you will store data. So if you want to create elements, then you need to click. So whenever you will create any custom object, by default, you will get this many of it. One we created, and other you will get by default. Okay. If you want to add more fields, then you need to click on new. Then it will ask about what data type field will have. Let me click text. Sorry, text. Click on new. Then it will ask you field name. OK, let's say field name is roll number. Uh, length will be 50. Description. So here, if you want to expose this particular new field as a unique field, then you need to make it unique. And if you want to expose as an external ID, I'm not sure everyone familiar with Salesforce or not. So whenever we do any kind of uh, update operation and all, so you need external ID. So you need to check, check this option also. For now, I will not make it unique, neither external ID, just normal field. Next. Next. Save. So what I did, previously we had four field, now we added one more field. So in this way, you can create custom object in Salesforce. So this will be first part. You should know how to create custom object. Then second, click on this user. I'm opening a new tab. 
So right now I created one particular object, ABC object, but this object is not coming here. So how you will make that object accessible here? So for that we have some steps. OK, so. So in the same page, first page where we went first time. So there you need to search tabs. OK, click on these tabs. And then here you need to select new. And then in drop down you will get all the custom object. So I want to create tab for ABC. So select ABC. You need to select tab style so you can click on this and you can take any style. Yeah, I tick this style and click on next. Click on uh, next. Use everything by default. Save. OK, so this tab now you can see in this list ABC is here. Now go to this page, refresh this page. And in this more option. Now you will able to see this ABC select this and you will able to see this custom object. If you want to create any record from here in this custom object, click on new and then it will ask you to provide value name. Click on save. So here you can see one record got created in this custom object. OK, so click on this. So this record got created, but here you can see only we can see name. I want to see more field in this custom object here. So what you can do? Click on this option. So okay, first uh, select this. First select this all option. OK, and then click on this and then. Select field to display option. This option you need to select. And then here you have all the list of field in this particular custom object. What all you want to display? I want to display a role also. I want to display last modified by created by then. Last modified date also. Click on save. So here you can see now we can see this many of fields in. OK. A part of this one more important thing is there that is security. OK, so. In the same page. Security is. You will get inside setting inside settings. And here you will get reset my security token. OK, when we will connect with this. Uh, Salesforce account, we need this security token. So if you have that security token, well and good. Otherwise, you can click on this reset my security token. So once you will reset, you will receive that token on your Gmail. So when you will make connection with uh, this Salesforce account, we will use that security token. So copy on click on this and copy this token. this token somewhere so we will use this token when we will when we will connect with salesforce account okay so this is the username password and this is my old token but now i refreshed that one so this is my new token okay so store it somewhere so we will able to use this one okay of salesforce account in detail we will see later on 
but at this moment how to create account how to create custom object how to generate security token how to add fields to display and yeah that's what we'll will we have seen and how to add tabs also that also we have seen okay one more thing is there that is console developer console so in this developer console you can write salesforce query okay so if you have any salesforce object and you want to you want to validate your query so you can run query here and you can click on execute so based on your query you will get result here so just now i created uh, abc object so select name comma role underscore underscore c why i am adding role underscore underscore c i will tell you from abc abc underscore underscore c okay so i i have this particular record in that particular object now why i added this to i let me show you so this is my abc custom object so my custom object name api name is abc underscore underscore c that's why i used object name as a abc underscore underscore c second field and relationship here you can see role contains this name field name is role underscore underscore c that's why i used role underscore underscore c name for name you can see same thing is there okay so here you will get field name what you will write in query and here you will get object name what you will use in query okay so in this developer console you can run your query okay so in salesforce part i think uh, we are good so we should have this much of knowledge in salesforce part and like uh, during project also we will do same activity multiple time so you will get more hands on experience